How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the valuation of a cryptocurrency, in particular, Dogcoin. This video is brought to you by Webull. Don't forget to get your two free shares of stock just for signing up and depositing $100. Right now with Webull, you can actually trade Dogcoin. So check out my referral link down in the video description below. Before I begin, I have to disclose that I do own significant amounts of Dogcoin. Let me look at my Robinhood account right now is at 43 and a half cents. My total portfolio value right now, it's an astonishing $406,000. Not much more of this is gonna really push this up all the way up into a million dollars so this is this is just crazy 600 percent gain you guys have expressed concern that i am photoshopping this or something this is not real i'm just putting in numbers anyway this is my disclosure here's my thought process of how to value this you can either look at the market cap okay market cap of bitcoin is around 1.1 trillion dollars and then market cap right now of dogcoin is 53 billion so you can easily deduce that Dogcoin is around 120th the size of Bitcoin. Therefore, if Dogcoin were in market value just as big as Bitcoin, then it would be 20 times where it is right now. So if you do a little mental calculation, 20x is about $8. So that is kind of like a ceiling, I would say. You know, if you invest in this thing, you want to figure out, okay, where is the maximum is gonna go? it definitely will not go to $58,000 just like Bitcoin because if you multiply 58,000 by the number of dog coins there is 128 billion there, it essentially is a market cap of 7.5 quadrillion. So this is 7,505 trillion, trillion, okay? Not billion, trillion dollars. If you look at the entire investment portfolio of the entire world, it's $1,200 trillion. So definitely Dogcoin is never going to go there. So this is a good number to kind of know that it's never going to hit 58. It's probably never going to hit 5,000 even. So what is a realistic number? What is a ceiling that Dogcoin could actually arrive at? I put in the price over here, the number of coins in circulation, of course, in Dogcoin, it's going to add another 5 billion every single year. If you keep on adding 5 billion, that same 5 billion is gonna be a less and less percentage of the total number of coins. In order to figure out the valuation, I was like, well, normal stocks have a thing called PE ratio. How much each share of stock has the capability of earning, right? For example, maybe each share of stock earns $1. If the price of the share is $10, then the PE ratio is 10. But in cryptocurrencies, there's no such thing as earnings per share. The cryptocurrency itself is not actually earning anything. Then you have to start thinking about the utility of the cryptocurrency itself. For example, how many times does it appear in Google searches? Now, here's my little graph here. It actually appears 645 million times for Bitcoin, 117 million times for Dogcoin, and this is kind of like a proxy for how popular it is. So if you just divide the number of search results by the total number of coins, then you arrive at the number of Google search results per coin. Then if you divide the price by this number, then you get the price per search. And I got 1,681 for Bitcoin, for Dogcoin is 453. So this tells me that, okay, this is like some metric that you can kind of look at. Sometimes when you look at PE ratio of a company, you can't actually just use just the PE ratio just to value something. If the normal going PE ratio is 20 for some company, um, sometimes it's a little low, sometimes it's 10, sometimes it's 30, but this depends on how popular that company is. Maybe in the future, it's looking really, really bright. So then the PE ratio might be really, really high. For example, like Tesla has a really high PE ratio uh, Netflix has a really high PE ratio. Chipotle has a really high PE ratio. So um, this metric that I'm trying to figure out in order to value a cryptocurrency, it's kind of more like a guideline. It can kind of fluctuate above or below this quite significantly. So just from this price per search thing, it seems like Bitcoin has a higher price to search ratio, four times that of dog. So if dog 
or happen to have more search results, okay, if the number of Google search results increases by fourfold, then maybe the dog coin price is also going to increase by fourfold. So this is kind of like, you know, you think of this as a potential that it can increase by. But I actually didn't really like this way of evaluating things. So I went on to thinking about the number of connections. This is in line of thinking about network connections. If you have two people using something, then you have one connection. If you have three nodes in the network, you actually have three connections instead of two. So then I started looking at the number of businesses that accepts Bitcoin or Dogcoin. And if you look this up, I don't know if this number is all that accurate or not, but Bitcoin has 6,600 businesses that accepts it. Dogcoin has 1,300 businesses that accepts it. I don't think this is actually a good measurement. I kind of went through this calculation and stuff. You can just look at it, but I don't think this is actually a good measurement because you could have big businesses or small businesses, right? Some really huge business could have 10,000 point of sale terminals that accepts dog coin or Bitcoin. It's the number of point of sales terminals that accept them, not the number of businesses. You could have, you know, like a dozen really, really large companies that suddenly accept dog coin and all of a sudden, you know, they're accepted everywhere. So the number of businesses I think is not a good metric. So I'm just going to skip over this scratch paper calculation I did. Now we're on to the number of daily active addresses. When you buy into a startup, they always look at daily active users, right? This is how popular this particular website is. The more daily active users that you have, the more valuation that you're gonna get. And it goes up as a square law. So let's do the same calculation over here. You look up the number of daily active addresses on Bitcoin. It has 930,000 daily active addresses. And roughly, if you square, it's this really, really huge number. Then you divide it by the number of coins and you get 23,000 connections per coin. And then you divide the price of the Bitcoin for one Bitcoin divided by the number of connections. So you arrive at price per connection. This is how much you're gonna get paid for every connection that you have. So if you have one additional person that comes in that uses Bitcoin, it's gonna have a whole bunch of connections to all the other people that is already using it, right? So this kind of makes sense. The more people that's using it, the more utility that it has. My calculation here values this at $3 per connection. If you count up every single connection there is between every single daily active user, it's not like every single person is going to pay everyone or all right, but you have the possibility of paying someone else because if they're a daily active user, you know, maybe you can pay them. If every single person uses Bitcoin, then you know, it's a universal thing. You can go anywhere and you can pay anyone. So it becomes highly, highly usable. So the market is actually valuing every single possible connection here at $3 per connection. This is my pseudo price earnings ratio. So $3, all right, let's just have this in mind. And then you do the same thing with dog coin. 129 billion coins out there, uh, market cap of 53 billion, but the daily active addresses is actually much lower here at uh, 79,000, roughly 10x or 12x lower. And then you do this network effect thing, it's roughly square, really it's n times n minus one, uh, which is square, right? And then you divide that by two. The connections per coin, because the number of coins is so huge, then you got 0.02 connections per coin. But if you work out the math, you get $17 per connection. Now. It's a little high. If the market values per connection as much as Bitcoin, it's supposed to drop by 5x. But the market always has this funny way of trying to anticipate what is going to happen next. So it might think that in the future, there's suddenly going to be a lot more active users. That's why if the daily active users on the next line here, suddenly jumps up to the same level as Bitcoin at 930,000 active addresses every single day. Then suddenly your price per connection is going to be 0.12 or 12 cents per connection. So then if you go back and say, well, if the valuation of 
price per connection is the same as Bitcoin, let's say things level off, everyone get used to it and values Dogcoin at $3 per connection, then this represents a 20x increase from the current pricing. The current pricing, 43 cents, right? 20x of this is around $8. So I think this is probably the low end. If you look at only market capitalization uh, multiples, the current dog coin price should be 20x. If you look at daily active addresses, it's essentially the same calculation, but you're thinking of it in a different way. If the market cap increases from 53 billion to 1 trillion, naturally, you can't decouple the number of daily active users, right? Because if the market cap goes up, you know, most likely the daily active addresses also goes up. So this is kind of interlocked. You can either look at it as market cap going up 20 fold or the daily active addresses going up 20 fold. If you guys are interested in buying your own dog coin, check out my Webull referral link down in the video description below and you get your two free shares of stock for depositing $100. You can deposit that $100, not do anything and you'll still get that two free shares. Again, this is not financial advice. Don't go on just because of this video. You're going, oh my gosh, it's going to be worth $8. I'm going to make 20X on whatever. Oh, YOLO, let me put all my money in. Don't do this. Don't forget, give me a like on this video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.